Hey yogis, welcome to today's practice. Today's practice, a full body flow, a sequence that I used to teach up here at Soul Yoga. We focus on all parts of the body and it's the same set series of asanas that we go through. This is a practice you could do every day, you could do every other day and when you begin to become comfortable and you learn the flow, it almost becomes a moving meditation. But I always like to let everybody know that each day, completely different. Our bodies tighter, looser, stronger, and we got to come into our practice with the beginner's mind, letting go of the expectations of how we think our body should look, how it should feel, maybe how that asana should be today, and just take every moment and that breath with gratitude. That's what's so important. Our mat, our journey here, it's just like our life. When we start, we appreciate every step all the way till the end. And we don't want to rush anything. We don't want to get to the end. We want to just savor that moment and that breath in every posture. Let's start today's practice. Nice child's pose. Knees nice and wide, big toes kiss. Arms extend forward. Maybe the knees together. Remember, listening to your body here. We don't control right now. We're stepping into the moment. Can you let go? Let go of thoughts. Try and bring awareness to the body. How does the mat feel under the palms? What do you feel underneath the skin? Noticing those sensations. Can you start at those palms and bring that awareness, that sensation, up through the forearms, gently through the shoulders, as we watch a natural rise and fall of the breath. Not controlling, we just notice the sensations, the feelings inside. All together, let's take a big inhale through the nose, and at the top we hold the breath. I like to start here. This is called Kumbhaka, breath retention. We're creating space inside. Exhale out the mouth. Another big inhale through the nose. Feel the ribs expand and at the top we hold. This space we create for more air, but also for that life force, that prana, the energy inside. Exhale out the mouth. Sealing our lips, beginning to cultivate that ujjayi breath, slight constriction of the back of the throat. We breathe in and out through the nose, and when we do, there's this beautiful sound, this wave, this breath of air coming in. We hear the wave as it leaves the body. Keeping this breath in and out through the nose, our entire practice here today. And inhale, gently rise. Nice neutral tabletop position. Palms underneath the shoulders, knees right underneath the hips. Form a rooting, form a grounding down. Fingers nice and wide, really connect into the earth. Remember, every asana starts at the base, whatever touches the earth. Inner biceps gently roll forward. This helps our shoulders down the back. With an inhale, we drop the belly. We lift the hips, the heart, and the gaze. Exhale, round the spine, push the earth away, gaze to the belly. Inhale, belly drops, hips, heart, and gaze lift. Remember, we link that breath to the movement. Exhale, round the spine, push the earth away. Taking the next few rounds, your own pace. Inhale, belly drops, hips, heart, and gaze lift. Remember, that breath connects to the movement. That breath in our asana practice, it initiates that movement, and we keep that movement all the way linked together from the start, all the way till the end. And this creates the union, this moment of awareness. Next time we stop, the belly dropped gaze lifted position. Tuck the toes, gently lift the knees, shins up, hips coming up, first downward dog of today. First downward dog, so nice. We pedal the feet, wag the hips maybe side to side. Inviting movement, life into our muscles, into our body. Gently feeling the sensations of the thighs, of the hamstrings. Palms 
just about in line with our shoulders. Fingers spread wide. Remember, we root down, we connect. Try and root those knuckles. Try and alleviate any pressure through the crease of the wrist by grounding the fingers down into the mat. Feet in line with our hips, and can we slowly extend right heel a little further down. Left heel extends a little further down as we come into a moment of stillness. Thighs engage, hips up and back, very nice. Bending the knees, gazing towards the hands, walking the feet right behind the palms. With an inhale, halfway lift, nice long spine here. Fingertips to the earth or our shins, Really open the heart, grabbing opposite elbows, folding at the hips, bending the knees, resting down on the thighs. Little ragdoll pose, we can invite movement, some rocking from side to side. Remember, gently flowing with the breath here. Maybe we start extending one heel at a time, engaging the legs as we maybe come with both legs nice and long whatever our body wants to do today. We come back to center, release the hands down, and with an inhale, you rise vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly coming up. We root down through the feet, legs stay engaged, spine stays in the center, that's our balance point. We get to the top, arms reach up overhead, watch those palms kiss. Exhale, hands down to the heart, samastitihi, close the eyes here. Set an intention, dedication for today's practice. This can be a thought, a feeling, somebody special in your life. This intention is so important. It serves as our root in our practice. It serves as a guide. Our mind, it's going to wander, and that's okay. You bring it back to this intention here. You bring it back to the beautiful sound of the breath. Thinking hard about that intention, big inhale through the nose, Exhale it out the mouth, releasing it out into the universe. Sealing the lips, ujjayi breath starts, eyes flutter open. Inhale, palms reach up, watch them kiss overhead. Exhale, folding at the hip, uttanasana, crown of the head reaches forward and down. And inhale, halfway lift, ardha uttanasana, long spine, thighs engage. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, our first high plank. First high plank, I like to hold, generate a little heat. Palms right underneath the shoulders. Really engage the legs, root down through the balls of the feet, belly tucks in. Pressing through the palms, we find strength, almost as if we're lifting up through the back of the heart. Option, we could always drop the knees, we could always drop the forearms if it feels a little better on the wrists. Very nice. Inhale, shifting forward on the tippy toes. Exhale, halfway down, Chaturanga, shoulders in line with the elbows, tops of the feet go down. Arms extend up, dog, shoulders over the wrist. Exhale, rolling over the toes, downward facing dog. Five nice long breaths, breathing deep. Root down through those knuckles, extend through the shoulders. Keeping that breath long and smooth. Remember that breath, it lights that fire inside you. And that Agni, it creates the prana, the life force, the energy to flow throughout the body. Very nice. Bending the knees, gazing to the hands. Step, walk, float our way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, thighs engage, reach the heart forward. Exhale, forward fold, uttanasana, crown of the head down, rooting through the feet. Inhale, rising a little faster now. Arms reach up overhead, watch those palms kiss. Exhale, hands to the heart, samastitihi. Time to flow, that sequence of breath to movement. Surya Namaskar A, saluting the sun. Inhale, arms reach up, watch those palms kiss. Exhale, folding at the hip, uttanasana, crown of the head forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, thighs engage. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, halfway down, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, up dog, open the heart, shoulders broad. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. 
gazing to the hands. Step, jump, float our way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, forward fold, press through the feet. Inhale, rise up, maybe tiny back bend at the top as the palms kiss. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, crown of the head, forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, thighs engage, exhale, plant the hands, step it back, halfway down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog, press through hands and feet, open the heart, exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Gazing to the hands, step, jump, float our way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, exhale, forward fold. Root through the feet, inhale, rise up, feel the energy through the body, up to the palms as they kiss. Exhale, hands to the heart, samastitihi, bending the knees, ukatasana, chair pose. Sitting back, our nice little chair. First thing we do, look at the toes. Can we see them past the knees? If not, we scoot the hips, the shins a little further back. Thighs stay engaged, belly tucks in. Arms are up and the pinkies wrap forward. This helps the shoulders down the back. Remember, foundation, every pose. Can you lift the toes for a moment? Find those four corner connection through the feet. Then we bring the toes down. Very good. Sitting down, our imaginary chair. Thighs are strong. Big breath in. Exhale forward, fold Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, nice long spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, halfway down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog, open the heart, shoulders broad. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Three nice long breaths here, thighs engage. As you gaze to the heels, can we see them? If we cannot see them, we're right where we need to be. If we see the heels, slight internal rotation of the thighs. Heels should hide behind the calves. Thighs are engaged, kneecaps lift. Very good, inhale, right leg lifts to the sky. Three-legged dog. Keeping that back leg flexed, toes pointing down. Very good, try and wrap that pinky down towards the earth. Left leg is strong, very good, breathing deep. Finding balance through the palms, that back foot. Inhale, lift a little higher from the inner thigh. Exhale, right foot steps right in between the hands and we hold a nice little running lunge here. Maybe we come up to the fingertips, open the heart to the front. Left heel pushes back and we straighten the leg the best we can. Really finding length, the breathing into sensation. Very good, big breath in. Exhale, back foot goes down 90 degrees. Front knees right over the ankle. Inhale, you rise up, warrior two. Vira Bhadrasana two. Front knee right over the ankle. Beautiful line from the heel in the front to the arch in the back foot. Arms are at a T. We gaze over that middle finger as you relax the shoulders down the back. Very good. Every pose, find a nice balance, strength, and comfort. Find a connection into the feet. Belly tucks in, spine is straight. Inhale. Exhale, shift forward, hover over the thigh. Front arm bends, rests on the thigh. Back arm up to the sky, Parjvakanasana, side angle pose. Option one, we stay here. Option two, hand inside or outside the front foot. Keep lengthening forward with the crown of the head. Nice long body all the way down to the heel. Very good. Try not to gaze up at the sun. Just kidding. Well, not really. Thighs are strong. Root through the feet. Very good. Inhale. Exhale, rise up, warrior two. Front palm flips up, we lift it up and back, reversing the warrior. Gazing towards that top hand, back hand can come to the calf, the thigh, maybe it wraps the lower back. Most important, we're lifting up through the body, up towards the hand. Front knee right over that ankle, lengthening the body up to the sky, big breath in. 
exhale, cartwheel the hands down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Very good, follow the breath. Inhale, up dog, open the heart. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog, and we hold. Three nice long breaths. Long breaths, practicing a breath we call Samavritti, equal fluctuations, keeping our inhales, our exhales, same distance here. Inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Flex those toes down towards the earth. Remember, it doesn't matter how high we lift. We want both hip bones, really trying to face the earth. Thighs are strong, root through the knuckles, through the fingers. Inhale, lifting a little higher, right from the inner thigh. Exhales, left foot steps in between the hands as we hold. Nice little running lunge. Maybe we come up to the fingertips as we lift the heart. Front knee right over the ankle. Press back through that right foot. Find length through the heel. Breathe into the sensations. Big breath in. Exhale, back foot goes down. Very good. Front knee over the ankle. Inhale, you rise. Warrior two. Virabhadrasana two, sinking down into the posture, root into the feet, spine is straight, lifting up through the crown of the head as the shoulders relax down the back. Very nice. Slight external rotation of that front thigh. Front knee should gently point right over the two middle toes. Very good, inhale. Exhale, shifting forward, hover over the thigh, front arm bends, rest on the thigh, back arm up to the sky, Parjva Kanasana. Side angle pose, maybe we stayed here, maybe we took option two, hand inside or outside the front foot. Very good. Connect into the pinky in the back, stack the shoulders, find length through the body. Big breath here, inhale. Exhale, rise up, warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Front palm flips up, we lift it up and back, reversing the warrior. Gazing towards that top hand, finding length through the body, up towards the sky. Very nice, shoulders back. Inhale, front knee bends a little more. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Step it back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Open the heart, exhale over the toes, downward facing dog, and we hold. Three nice long breaths. Remember, we could always drop the knees, we can always come into child's pose. We listen to the body, we listen to the breath. Trying to bring the breath nice and smooth, nice and calm. With a calm breath, we find stillness inside that calm breath. It stills the body, it stills the mind. Time to flow that sequence, breath to movement. Inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, right foot steps between the hands. Inhale, you rise up, warrior two. Exhale, shift forward, side angle pose, Parjva Kanasana. Inhale, up and back, reverse that warrior, reach through the palm. Exhale, cartwheel the hands, Chaturanga Dandasana, single exhale, follow the breath down. Inhale, up dog, open the heart. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot steps right in between the hands. Inhale, you rise, warrior two, strong stance. Exhale, shift forward, side angle pose. Inhale, up and back, reverse that warrior. Reach through the palm, front knee bends. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Chaturanga, single exhale, follow it down. Inhale, up dog, press through hands and feet. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. One more round, inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, right foot steps right in between the hands. 
Inhale, you rise up, warrior two, strong stance through the feet. Exhale, shift forward, side angle pose. Inhale, up and back, reverse the warrior, front knee bends a little more. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Chaturanga Dandasana, following our breath, riding it down. Inhale, up dog, heart opens. Exhale, over the toes. Downward facing dog, last one. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, stepping it through. Inhale, you rise up, strong stance. Exhale, shift forward, side angle pose. Inhale, up and back, reverse that warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, chaturanga. Follow the breath. Inhale, up dog. Press through hands and the feet, shoulders broad. Exhale, over toes. Downward facing dog. Very nice. Let's do a cleansing breath here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. One more. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, right foot steps between the hands. This time we scissor the thighs together. With an inhale, we rise. Very nice. Anjali Asana, crescent lunge. Let's bend the back knee. Bring the shoulders right over the hips. Then we lengthen the leg. Very nice. Front knee over the ankle. Nice. Parallel line from that front thigh down towards the earth. Extend through that left heel. Find length through the body. Breathe, remember, into any sensations. We unlock those sensations, they turn into prana when we direct the breath. Inhale, palms kiss heart center. Exhale, shifting forward, hover over the thigh. Using the core, twist over to the right. Elbow right outside the thigh, palms pressed together. Holding heart center. The best we can, we try and stack the shoulders. We root down through the feet. Breathing deep, even in our twists. It's when we detoxify. We wring those organs like sponges. One more long breath in. Exhale, coming to center. Release the hands inside the front foot. Back knee comes down. You'll toe that front foot up into the corner of the mat. So we come down, a little rest here, onto the forearms. We sink our hips down. Maybe if it feels better to stay on the palms, that's okay. Remember, listen to your body, there's no judgment. Front knee hugs into the shoulder. Maybe we scoot those back toes a little further back. Most important, hips should just be below the shoulders. Doesn't matter where we are. Try and find appreciation in the stillness here today. Mm. Palm by palm, torso walks its way. Nice upright position. Back toes tuck, knee comes off the earth. As you root through the palms, float that front foot up and back high plank. Rolling on the outside of the left foot, stack the right foot on top as we come into our Vashistasana, our side plank. Lifting up through the hips. Shoulders stack the best we can. Very nice. Engage both side bodies here. Really gaining length through those side bodies. Beautiful. Inhale, hips a little higher. Exhale, ride the breath down. Chaturanga, follow it. Lengthen that breath. Inhale, up dog. Open the heart, shoulders back. Exhale over the toes, downward facing dog, very nice. Inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot steps right in between the hands, scissoring the thighs together. Inhale, we rise, Anjali Asana, crescent lunge. Bending that back knee, shoulders right over the hips. Then we extend that back leg the best we can. Front knee right over the ankle. Remember, nice parallel line from that thigh down to the mat. Arms are up, shoulders down the back. Connect into the feet. Remember, stability, root down. Then we use the breath. It finds the most optimal position. 
Inhale, palms kiss heart center. Exhale, shift forward. Hover over that thigh. We use the core, we twist to the left. Elbow right outside the thigh. Palms press, trying to bring them to heart center. Extending out through the crown of the head. Very nice. Strong feet, strong thighs, belly tucks in, inhale. Exhale, coming to center, hands down, inside front foot, back knee comes down. We walk that front foot a little up into the corner as we bring the forearms down. Coming into a nice little rest here, relaxing the hips down. Where's your breath? When the mind wanders, bring it back to that beautiful wave, that sound of the ocean from within. Very good. Palm by palm, torso walks its way. Nice upright position. Back toes tuck, knee comes off the earth. As we root through those palms, float that front foot up and back high plank. Rolling on the outside of the right foot. Left foot stacks on top. Vashistasana, side plank. Very nice. Both hips lifting up, thighs are engaged, feet flex. Find length wherever we are through the spine. Nice rainbow arc from the heels out the crown of the head. Inhale, hips a little higher. Exhale, hand comes down, follow the breath, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, open the heart. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Bending the knees gazing to the hands. Step, jump, float our way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Heel to the feet so the big toes kiss. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ukatasana chair pose. Sitting down our chair. Remember, stability through the feet. This is everybody's favorite pose too, don't worry. Thighs engage, belly tucks in. Very good. Inhale, palms kiss, heart center. Exhale, shifting forward. Hover over the thighs. Engage the core as we twist to the right. Elbow right outside those thighs. Palms press, heart center. Gaze down to the knees. One knee always likes to scoot ahead. Pull it back. Both knees face forward. Both hips face forward. Very good. Thighs engage. Lengthen through the spine. One more, inhale. Exhale, return to center, forward fold. Very good, inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Heel toe the feet just about in line with our hips. We bend the knees as we come into Pada Hastasana. Our padas are gonna go on our hastas, our hands. Palms face up, slide them underneath the feet, bringing the toes to the crease in the wrist. Very nice, knees stay bent here. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Maybe we lengthen the legs. Exhale, forward fold. Thighs engage. Crown of the head relaxes down. Elbows out to the side, use those palms. Keep the legs engaged, try and melt the heart a little closer to the thighs. And where's the breath? Very good, one more, inhale. Exhale, rise up, nice straight spine. Release one hand at a time, heel toe the feet so the big toes kiss, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ukatasana, chair pose. Sitting down our chair, root down, find energy through the spine, really lengthen out through the crown of the head. Very good. Inhale, palms kiss, heart center. Exhale, shift forward. Belly's engaged, use the core. Twist over to the left, elbow right outside the thigh. Making sure both knees right in line with each other. Breathe deep, remember. Visualize that breath flowing through the body. 
Can you watch it as it comes in through the nose, as it goes down to the heels? One more, inhale. Exhale, return to center, forward fold. Rooting through the feet, inhale, rising all the way up, watching the palms kiss at the top. Exhale, hands to the heart. Samastitihi. Heel toeing our feet, mat width distance, toes facing out, heels facing in. Very good. Shoulders stack over the wrist, nice straight spine, big breath in. Exhale, sinking the hips down. Yogi squat, malasana pose. Elbows right inside the thighs, palms pressed together, heart center. Spine stays straight. Root to the feet, engage the legs. Where's our breath? And coming into a little arm balance, Kakasana, Crow's Pose. Palms just a foot in front of our shins. And we shift the weight forward on the toes. We bend the arms like we're gonna do Chaturanga. Knees right outside the triceps. As we shift the weight forward, we could stay on our toes. Maybe we lift one toe off the earth at a time. Maybe we lift both toes up as we come into our crow pose. Gaze is slightly forward and down. Hug the heels in towards the bone. Find strength in our breath. Let it calm the body, still the mind. Very good. We can either step back for feeling extra strong today. Big breath in. Exhale, stepping back halfway down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, open the heart. Exhale over the toes, downward facing dog. Bending the knees, gazing to the hands. Step, jump, walk our way to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, nice long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Root down through the feet, inhale, rise up. Stopping the palms, this time in line with the shoulders. Bending the right elbow, bringing it right inside the hip. Bending the right knee. We reach around, we grab the inside of the foot. We could stay here, option one. Option two, we start sinking the heart forward. Extending out, kicking the foot into the hand. Coming into our dancer's pose. Nataranjasana. Lifting through the heart. Keeping that left leg strong, nice and engaged. Very good. Breathing deep. One more, inhale here. Exhale, rising all the way up. Release the arms down by the side. Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale, arms reach up. Stopping them in line with the shoulders. Left elbow bends, resting on side the hip. Then we reach around, bending the left knee as we grab the inside of the left foot. We stay here, option one, straight spine. Option two, heart reaches forward. We kick that foot into the hand. Finding a drishti, point of focus. Something either in the room or internal. All that awareness goes there. Finding the balance, the balance inside. Very good. One more breath in. Exhale, rising up. Release the hands down. Tadasana, mountain pose. Bring the big toes to kiss. Inhale, Ukatasana, chair pose. Very good, sitting down in your chair. Find comfort here. Right arm reaches underneath the left, bringing our palms to kiss. For Garudasana, eagle arms. Elbows right in line with the neck as you bend the left knee. Right leg comes up. We wrap it once, maybe twice. We sit back down in our chair, reaching up through the elbows, keeping the chest broad, squeezing the legs together. Very nice, one more, big breath in. Exhale, release, Tadasana, mountain pose. Big toes kiss, inhale, Ukatasana, chair pose. Finding length through the spine, beautiful. Left arm underneath the right, palms kiss. Elbows right in line with that neck. Right knee bends, left leg comes up. We wrap once or twice. 
and we sink down in the chair. Very good. Lifting up through the palms, keeping the heart open, shoulders broad. One more, inhale, sit a little deeper. Exhale, release, Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Come into our tree pose. Right sole of the foot inside the thigh. Knee out to the side, palms press, heart center. This is always a good option. If it feels better, we can have the knee, the foot below the knee or acting as a, like a little kickstand. Most important here, we keep the hips open. We keep the spine lengthening. Very good. Root down through that left foot. Big inhale. Exhale. Grow those branches of the tree. Arms up. Shoulders down the back. Left leg is strong. Nice and engaged. Very good. Shoulders down the back. Inhale. Exhale. Release. Tadasana. Mountain pose. Tree pose. Left side. Left sole of the foot. Inside the thigh or whatever variation you took. Palms press heart center. You open the hips a little bit more. Big breath in. Exhale, grow those branches tall. Arms up, shoulders down the back. Very good. Keeping the hips open. Right thigh is engaged, foot roots down. Big breath in. Exhale, release and forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, nice long spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, halfway down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, shoulders broad. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Left foot spins 45 degrees, right foot steps right up by that right thumb. Knee over the ankle in the front. With an inhale, we rise. Vita Bhadrasana one, warrior one. Right hand down to the right hip, pull it back. Both hip bones face forward. Knees right over the ankle in the front. Inner thighs squeezed together. Arms up, shoulders down the back. Very nice. Big breath in. Exhale, open it up, warrior two, Vita Bhadrasana, maybe lengthen the stance. Inhale, front leg lengthens, arms are at T. Exhale, shift forward, reach till you can't anymore. Front hand down to the shin, earth or thigh. Back arm reaches to the sky, Trikonasana, triangle pose. You can always shorten the stance if it feels better. Remember, no sun gazing here. <laughs> Lengthening through both sides of the waist. We don't want to crunch down. If we are, we lift up just a little bit, it's all right. Very nice, one more breath here. Exhale, rising up. Front foot faces over to the left, arms at a T. Inhale, lift the heart and the gaze. Exhale, hands down to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Prasarita pose. Crown of the head sinking down towards the earth. Toes just about in line with the fingers. And we keep the elbows right parallel lines together. Squeezing our outer hips, our inner thighs in towards each other. Maybe the weight feels a little bit more in the balls of the foot. Try and bring the hips right in line with our ankles. One more breath here. Exhale, halfway lift, long spine, hands to the hips. Inhale, rising all the way up. Front foot faces forward, warrior two, big breath in. Exhale, cartwheel the hands, ride it down, Chaturanga, follow the breath. Inhale, up dog, open the heart. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Right foot spins 45. Left foot steps right up by that left thumb, knee over the ankle in the front. Inhale, you rise. Vira Bhadrasana one. Warrior one. Left hand down to the left hip. Pull it back. Both hips face forward. Back leg is strong. Root through the pinky edge of that toe, extending the leg down. Beautiful. Long breath here, down to the feet. 
one more inhale exhale open it up warrior two Virabhadrasana badrasana two big breath here exhale lengthen the leg big inhale exhale shift forward reach till you can't anymore front hand down to the shin or earth back arm up to the sky trikonasana triangle pose stacking the shoulders the best we can imagine we're resting them on a wall behind us trying to find length out through the spine rooting through the big toe in the front pinky in the back engaging the thighs very good one more breath here exhale rising up arms at a t front foot faces to the right clasping the hands behind the back inhale shoulders roll back heart and gaze lift Exhale, folding at the hip. Crown of the head reaches forward, then down. Knuckles up and over, keeping the thighs engaged. You can always use a towel in between the hands or a shirt if it's any trouble to clasp the hands. Try to relax the shoulders. Try and find calm through the body. I find that I tense up some places that prevent me from getting where I need to go. You find something you can relax to get a little deeper. Very good. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Hands come down. Halfway lift. Straight spine. Hands to the hips. Inhale. Rise. Front foot faces forward. Bend the knee. Warrior two. Inhale. Exhale. Cartwheel the hands down. Chaturanga. Follow the breath. Ride it down. Inhale, up dog. Open the heart, shoulders broad. Exhale over the toes. Downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, right to the wrist, dropping the shin parallel to the front. Ah, we're done with standing. We keep the front shin the best we can parallel to the front. First flex the foot. This helps protect the knee. Gaze over the shoulder, nice straight line out the back. Bringing the heart to center. Lift up through the hips. Lift the heart and the gaze. Exhale, walking the torso down into our pigeon's pose. Maybe we stop on the forearms. Maybe we stopped on the palms. Remember, it doesn't matter. This breath it movement, it's a gift. Maybe we brought the body all the way down. Keep the breath smooth. Keep it long. Guide it to those sensations favorite pose. We store so much in our hips. Can we find something today? Something that doesn't belong. Something in our life, in our mind. Something that no longer serves us. With each exhale, visualize it leaving the body. Breathing it out, out of every inch, watching it as it leaves the mind. releasing it from our body, from our mind. Two more long cycles of breath, just like this. Palm by palm. Walking the torso, nice upright position. Back toes tuck, float that back knee off the earth. As you press into the palms, float that front knee into the heart, round the spine, open the hip out to the side. Nice little circles with the thigh, with the hip. Remember, every little circle we lubricate, we keep that joint nice and healthy. Clockwise, counterclockwise. Maybe we open the hip up to the sky. Whatever feels good, releasing tension through that hip, through the body. Both feet come down, downward facing dog. One cycle of breath reaching through the knuckles. Very good, melt the heart a little closer to the thighs. Inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, left wrist, drop the shin, parallel to the front back knee comes down. 
Front foot flexes. If it's a little too much, too much sensation, we can always lengthen or shorten the angle of that front leg. Do whatever feels best for your body. Gazing over the shoulder, nice straight line out the back. Heart comes to center, lift up through the hips, through the heart. Inhale, gaze and heart lift. Exhale, palm by palm. Walk the torso down. Remember, as far down as the body wants. Keeping that front foot flexed to help protect the joint in our knee. Both hips nice and parallel to the earth. We want our hips nice and straight. And as we let go, as we created space inside the body, let's take this time Let's fill ourselves with joy, with happiness, with gratitude. Think about a moment in your life, a time, some time when there was happiness, pure joy, maybe with a loved one. Maybe it's drinking our morning coffee, climbing a mountain, wherever that joy is. Remember that moment. Bring that moment into the mind as if we were there. As you visualize, bring the mind to the sensations that were going through our body. Feel the sun kissing the skin. Feel the breeze through our hair, that warm, tingly sensation inside our chest, that warmth, that light growing inside our heart. Every breath in. Breathe in that joy, that moment, those physical sensations through the nose. Let them fill all the way down, filling the body all the way to the fingers, all the way to the ends of our toes. Very nice. Two more long cycles of breath, just like this. Palm by palm, torso walking its way, nice upright position. Back toes tuck, knee comes off the earth. As you press into those palms, front knee hugs into the heart, round the spine, open the hip out to the side. Nice little circles here, clockwise, counterclockwise, releasing that tension. Maybe hip up to the sky, whatever feels good, root through those knuckles, breathing through any tension. Very nice. Feet come down. Downward facing dog. One cycle of breath here. Thighs up and back. Reaching through the tips of the fingers. Heart melting a little closer to the legs. Very good. Big breath in. Exhale. Shift forward. High plank. Exhale. Lowering all the way down to the belly. Tops of the feet come down. Inhale. Lifting that right leg. Scooting the toes a little further back. Inhale, left leg lifts, scooting the toes a little further back. Very good. Clasping the hands behind the back. Inhale, lifting up through the heart. Pressing down through the toes, through the hips and thighs. Very good. Engaging the belly. Inhale, lift the heart a little higher. Exhale, float the toes off the mat. Modified Shalabhasana, locust pose. Gazing slightly forward and down. We want to keep a nice long neck. Very good. Big toes kiss. Slight space in between the ankles. Inhale, lifting a little higher. Exhale, lowering it down. Right cheek to the mat. Release the hands by the side. Whew. Always appreciating the stillness. The stillness in between the movements. Very good. Gaze comes forward, bending the knees, grabbing the outside of our ankles. Inhale, lift the heart, shoulders roll back, thighs root down. Exhale, kicking the feet into the hands as we come up for our bow pose. Shoulders roll back, inner thighs squeeze together. 
Keeping that neck nice and long. We don't want to crank the gaze up to the sky. Very nice. Inhale a little higher. Exhale, lowering it down. Left cheek to the mat. Releasing the legs. Palms down by our side. This time, maybe we windshield wiper our legs from side to side. Releasing any tension in that lower back. Connecting into the mat, into the earth. Very nice. Bringing the legs down. Palms underneath the shoulders. Toes tuck, inhale, push up high plank. Exhale, rolling back, downward facing dog. Bringing the knees down to the earth. Let the big toes kiss. Feet out to either side. We're coming to seated posture, legs right out the front. Dandasana staff pose. Very good. Taking a little bum out from either side. This really helps root the hips. Rooting down from the heels, toes flex back. Palms down by our side, shoulders broad. Lift up through the chest, through the heart. Engage the legs. Little to no pressure in those hands. Really using the core, the body to gain strength down into the earth. Dandasana, staff pose. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, reaching for the toes, Paschimottanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, nice long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Very nice. Reaching forward with the heart. Trying to keep the spine long, gazing to the feet. This is called Padadrishti. If we can't reach the toes, it's all right. We can reach the ankles, the knees, the thighs. Most important is our belly strong. We're helping the body reach forward through the heart by engaging the core, by keeping our thighs engaged with the toes flexing back. Very nice. Inhale, gain a little more length. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Surrender a little further down. Very good. Inhale, rising up, releasing the feet. So we come into our Navasana, our boat pose. Shins parallel to the earth. Arms can go right behind the knees, option one. Option two, right in line with the shins. Option three, spicy, we lengthen the legs. Engage the belly, lift through the heart. Navasana, boat pose. Pointing the toes, keeping the thighs strong. Feel the hips root down. Find length through the chest. Very good. Inhale, lift it a little higher. Exhale, halfway down, holding half boat. Belly strong. Keep lifting up through the chest, through the shoulders. Very good, thighs engage. Inhale. Exhale, lowering all the way down. Woo. Bending the knees, bringing them right in line with our hips. We bring our hands down by our side. We should be able to touch the heels. Inhale, pressing through those palms, lifting the hips up for our bridge pose. Option one, we stay here. Option two, we can roll one shoulder at a time, clasping the hands behind the back. We keep lifting up through the heart, through the hips, keeping the chin away from the chest. Very nice. Root down through those feet. Slight engagement, inner rotation of the thighs. Think squeezing a block. Very good. One more. Inhale, hips a little higher. Exhale, release the hands. Roll it down, one vertebrae at a time. Letting the spine first connect down to the mat. Find rooting into the earth. Let the soles of the feet kiss. Knees out to the side. One hand goes on our heart, one hand on our belly. Close the eyes. Supta Baddha Konasana. Always like to bring our awareness into the heart. Always remember, where your awareness goes, your energy flows. Focus on the love inside. Feel that love for those special people in your life. 
Maybe parents, children, brothers, sisters. We focus all that awareness, all that love inside, filling the body with love for ourselves, for everything that exists today. Now focus on the breath. Every inhale, we grow the belly. We fill the body all the way to the top so the belly sticks up to the sky. Exhale, let it go, every last drop. Maybe when we get to the bottom of that belly, we engage the muscles, releasing every bit of air. Inhale, fill the body all the way through the chest. Belly rises. Exhale, let it all go, every last drop. Continuing here, your own pace. Always using that breath. Remember, we learn from the breath. The breath is our guide. We appreciate every moment here in our life, just like we appreciate the inhales, just like we appreciate the letting go. We try our best. We practice non-attachment, non-grasping. We cherish all the happy moments, but we let them go and we hold on. Even to our breath, these things in our life, they become toxic. We learn to enjoy the release. Gently floating the feet off the mat, reaching for the outside of our feet as we come into our happy baby pose. Knees the best we can outside the torso. Lengthen the spine from the back of the head all the way down, trying to root through down our tailbone. Once we find that length into the mat, we can invite some rocking side to side massaging the back, maybe every rock, we bring a knee a little bit closer towards the earth, opening the hips. We still flow with the breath. Coming back to center, close the legs like we would a book, knees up to the heart, round the spine, wrap the arms around the shins, nice little ball here. Keep the right knee hugged into the heart. Extend the left leg out to the front, resting it down on the mat. Inhale, right knee lifts a little higher. Exhale, right knee crosses the body. Arms go down at a T as we come into our supine twist. We gaze over the right shoulder. Breathing deep, try and feel the earth. Connect down. We want both shoulders connecting into the mat. Feel the earth. Feel that weight, that support beneath you, that rooting, that grounding. Every inhale, spine lengthens, body expands. Every exhale, a chance to surrender deeper. Very good. One more. Big breath in. Exhale, coming to center. Knees up to the heart, round the spine. Little ball here. Maybe forehead kisses the tops of our knees. Left knee stays into the heart. Right leg extends out to the front. Inhale, left knee a little higher. Exhale, left knee crosses the body, arms at a T. We gaze over to the left side, supine twist. Doesn't matter how far this knee gets, we want those shoulders rooted down. Now with our breath, feel the expansion. Try and visualize the prana, the life force, as it starts in the heart center. It radiates through the body with the breath. Visualize it, almost like the rays of the sun flowing throughout our muscles. Very good. 
One more breath here. Exhale, coming back to center. Wrapping the arms around the shins, little ball here. Take a big inhale, fill the body all the way to the top, biggest inhale, and then we hold the breath. We're coming back into the kumbhaka. Hold your breath. Engage every muscle in your body now. We're holding the breath. We're engaging the fingers, the toes, the muscles in the face. Every muscle's engaged. We hold as hard as we can for three, four, two, squeeze it a little bit harder, four, one, and release. Legs extend out to the front. Palms coming down by our side. Letting those palms face up. Maybe the feet flop out either side. As we come into our last, our most important asana here today. We start by letting go. Let go of the control of your breath. Let go of all the muscles in your body here today. Letting everything just return right back. It's natural, it's calm self. And as we lay, as we release control, visualize the body getting heavier. Starting at the feet. Feel the backs of the calves root down. The thighs. Connect our hips, feeling the earth, the mat beneath you. Our shoulders relax down. We feel the back of the arms, the back of the hands. as they gently relax into the earth. The muscles in our eyes and our mouth and our face, everything relaxes. Making this time, this moment here, all about you. With a calm body, the still mind, Shavasana.
to take deeper breaths. Breathing life back into your body. Beginning to wiggle the fingers, the toes, as we slowly begin to invite life back into our muscles. Arms reach up overhead. Nice morning stretch. Lengthening through the fingers, through the toes. <sighs> Gently lifting the knees up towards the heart. As we roll to the right side, cradling the head with the bottom arm, closing our eyes into a moment of gratitude, so important. First, tell yourself, telling yourself, thank you for taking the time today to do something that was good for my body. Telling yourself, thank you for taking the time today for doing something that was good for my mind. And then, can you think about two things, two things in your life, two things today that you are just truly, truly grateful for? And when you're ready, keeping your eyes closed, awareness inside. Make your way back up. Nice, comfortable, cross-legged seated position. Connect our thumb and index finger together. Palms face down on the knees. This is my favorite way to end a practice that roots the energy down the base, connects us a little more with the earth. One cycle of breath here. Palms kiss, heart center, Anjali Mudra. I'd like to leave you guys with a little words of wisdom. How people treat you is their karma. How you react is yours. It's been an honor and a pleasure. And let's seal our practice today with a nice big group, Om and Three Shanti. Feel free to clear your throat. Nice big inhale for Om. Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Little smile on your face. Loka samasta sukhi no bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. The divine light in me bows to the divine light in you. Namaste. I thank you all for an amazing practice. Even though you're not here with me, I can feel the energy already coming through the amazing souls watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get these flows here every week. So stay tuned and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Thank you for watching.